Hey guys, and today we're going to be doing a review on the NECA Godzillas. First we have the 1994, and then we have the 2014 NECA Godzilla. 2014 design. Pretty cool. I'll get this one. I'll save this one for last because it was the coolest. So let's get on to 1994. First, um, <clears throat> the color scheme, it's kind of a greenish, mostly black, but almost greenish color. Dish. <laughs> a bunch of dish. We have the tail going all the way down. It's legs, big, bulky legs. It's um, tail is plenty posable, super cool, hang on. You can bend his tail like, um, I don't know, it's kind of hard. Hang on, put my camera, it's not working. Finally, um, so you can, you can hang on, get it to bend. If you wanted to, you could bend it like this, but it just doesn't look right. I'd rather have it in this more of vertical pose with a tail. And right in this section on the on the screen, you can if you can see it swirls around like this. Very very cool. There's a there's really cool looking spikes. Where they light up before he does his atomic breath. Let's get on to the face. His face looks. Let me get this to focus. His face very nicely detailed. You can open his mouth and let's open his mouth. And the detail looks not that bad. Pretty cool. Look at those. Look at that face detail. I mean, that's amazing. So he kind of looks like a lion for some reason. This design. He looks like a lion. Look at them fangs. His arms can move 360, but I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I'm trying to get these arms to. Oh my gosh, look at his arms. I don't even know how to fix that. Please put in the comments if you know how to fix that. It just doesn't look right. It's been like that ever since I got it. His arms can move. Oh, it's not focusing right. The arms can move really well. Very nicely articulated. Same thing with this one. His torso can move around. He can look around. He can look up pretty far. Not that bad, but he can kind of look up barely. He can look down really far though. That's basically his pose in most of the movies. Um, his legs are pretty well articulated. His feet can 360. He, oh no, he twisted his foot. Uh, his, the knee part right here can um, kind of barely even, it barely even moves. Same exact thing with this leg. Anyways, I really like this figure because it all the nice and captured detail, just like the movie. And that is the 1994 Godzilla. Let's, hang on, that was a 1994 Godzilla, let's get a move on to the 2014 Godzilla. This one, the only thing I don't like about it, its head is small and its mouth doesn't really open that wide. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. It's not focusing. It's taking forever to focus, I apologize. Anyways, um, why isn't this focusing? Uh, never mind. Well, anyways, he, it's mouth, it barely opens. He doesn't close all the way. Kind of cool. Finally focused. You can see the nice lizard-like details on his face. It looks really, really cool. It almost looks like a dragon. Look at them. Amazing, amazing job on them spikes. Like, there's so much detail. and Same exact shape as it was in the movie, too. 
His arms look a lot better than my messed up 1994 arms. Nice to meet you, Godzilla. He can, he has an elbow joint right here. His wrist can swivel freely. And I'm not going to do it with the other arm, just to, it's because, you know, it do the same exact thing. His legs can move. His tail is nicely articulated. As you can see, it moves around very nicely. And both of these figures are $18. This one has a much bigger tail than the 94 Gojira. And this one bends a lot more. Yep. So, oh, that's a really, really cool pose for the tail. Look at that. That looks amazing. That looks so cool. I think I'm going to keep in that pose. Let's get the arms down. I love the 2014 model. I think they're even going to make a 2016 Godzilla from NECA. Well, here's the front of them. Oh, let me change my fingers. The lighting's not that well. Here's the front of them. See his nice details. Amazing face. Open and close. Here's the side of him, nice and it's charcoal, all charcoal gray for the color. I, I don't think I even see any green. There's maybe a little, but hardly even noticeable. I don't even know why you want to put it there. He's not even green in the movie. Look at him. You can like pick out every individual spike. So realistic. Such a realistic toy. Get out of here, real quick. Anyways, that is the, oh, something just fell down. That was the review of the NECA t um, 2014 Godzilla and the NECA 1994 Godzilla. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to the Diamond Tree Films for new videos every week or month. I'll see you later.